Um, oh, well, I'm Claire Priester and I'm a paper artist. I make paper cuts using maps, atlases, um, and other found paper ephemera. Uh, specifically for this project, I'm working on some old London underground tube maps. I was commissioned to make a piece that's uh, using specifically using London underground maps, um, old tube maps. So I went and collected a bunch from uh, uh, the uh, London Transport Museum and. I was kind of rifling through them, looking at them all, and I found there was a whole series from that were from 1987, which was the year I moved to London um, when I went to college, and I decided that it was a really nice connection to use those maps, because it kind of felt like that was the year that I was travelling regularly on the underground for the first time, and kind of getting using the tube maps, so it felt like it, it, there was like a resonance for me there with the maps, um, and I decided to work with kind of flower uh, and sort of weed image or, or weeds or what we perceive as weeds because um, I kind of like the idea of when you see when you go to underground stations or you move around London you see plants and things in odd places growing out of buildings and they kind of nature always finds a way to to make its mark on the world so I kind of like that idea really. So this is the piece that I'm, uh, I'm working on which is based on um, six underground maps that I stuck together and then I drew out a design onto tracing paper which I stuck on the back so that I can then cut it out. Um, so this is what it, I've just cut a few pieces out at the moment, so this is kind of what the just started piece looks like and then you can see on the other side where the pieces kind of come out at the back. Um, and now I just have to sit down for a few hours and <laughs> spend my time cutting. Um, I guess my interest is in kind of nature and nature in the urban environment and how, I guess as I was talking before about how we try and use maps to kind of, as our way of controlling nature, the world and representing it and how nature just doesn't really, it lives in this kind of almost parallel world of, that it just doesn't really notice us humans in some ways, it just exists whether we're there or not. And I just like the idea of beautiful, you know, maps are kind of beautiful and kind of creating this beautiful environment um, out of sometimes things that can be quite ugly, which is sometimes in the city life it's not always beautiful, so it's nice to try and find the beauty in that. And I guess when we're talking about the resonance of the maps from 1987, I, I really like the way they generally resonate with people, everyone kind of looks at a map and you always find something and they represent, they're a way of representing the world in a very controlled way when clearly the, the world as we've been shown time and time again isn't, isn't a controllable thing, it always has its way of doing its own stuff. Uh, but I kind of like the idea that we as humans like the idea we can kind of represent things um, and they're just be old maps particularly are just beautiful, they're printed on really beautiful paper. They are just it's kind of sad that they become in a way useless when they're because the world changes, things change, people want maps for different reasons. Now we all use the internet, our phones to guide our ways around. We we so rarely I can't remember the last time I owned a natural data set of London, so we rarely use them. So it's nice to, to find a new purpose for, for the maps, to upcycle them, I guess.